guys today in this video we'll be talking about getting started with um docker so um basically what do we need to um get started with docker i already made this search so i'm just going to see this docker for windows i'm going to go to this site and then um, let's see what we need so what you what to know before you install system requirements you would need a Windows 10 64-bit Pro Enterprise or Education build. Uh, you also need Hyper-V containers, Windows features to be enabled. Um, the following hardware prerequisites are required to successfully run client Hyper-V on Windows 10, 64-bit processor, 4 gig system RAM, bio level hardware virtualization support must be enabled in the bio settings. So for more information, see virtualization. So basically, you would need a Windows 10 64-bit system, and then you would also need Hyper-V containers, Windows features to be enabled. So, um, so to see how or to see if your Hyper-V is enabled, you just right-click on the tax bar and click on Tax Manager. Um, go to Performance. Uh, right here, you would see Virtualization enabled. So that's just about that. Then. Um, to check for what operating system you're running on, you need um, to see, just come to properties, and then you see that you're running on um, a 64-bit Windows 10 uh, RAM, 8 gig, and that should be, so our system specs is enough to work with Docker. So basically what do we need to do? We just need to click on download from Docker Hub and it's going to start the download. So you just click on get Docker and it's going to start the download. I have already gone ahead to download Docker. So I'm going to just see the programs. So yeah, we have the Docker desktop installer just need to double click on it and then start the download. So it's going to come up shortly. All right. Great. So downloading package. So I'm just going to pause the video here and then we'll come back when it's done. All right. So, all right, so we're here at the configuration where it says enable Hyper-V features and add shortcut to desktop. So if I want to do that, um, I'll just unclick this and say OK. And then we'll continue the installation. It's unpacking the files right now. Let's give it a second or so. So it's just not to do bore you guys. I'm just going to pause the video again. All right, so we're done with the installation. Now it's saying you must restart Windows to complete the installation. So we're going to have to restart Windows. All right. All right, welcome back. So after restarting our system, we had Docker start up down here. And then we have this Docker dashboard it says about Docker desktop settings, check for update, troubleshoot, switch to Windows containers, documentation, Docker up, dashboard, sign in, and all of that. And we also have this Docker desktop here. Yeah. So it says get started with Docker in few easy steps, estimated time, two minutes. So before we do all of that, why don't we just sign in to Docker? Create a Docker ID and then sign in. So it says sign in with your Docker ID. If you do not have a Docker ID yet, you can create one at hub.docker.com. 
So let's go to create one. So create one here yeah. as of the docker.com. So I'm gonna say sign up. So Docker ID, say code list, password, then not a robot, sign up. Is an name already taken? This is already in use. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna use something different. Very what's it see me? Then So let me just log in with Codeless and um, try this password first and see if we're going to be signed in. Awesome. So we're now signed in as Codeless. All right. Awesome. Okay. So now let's see if we can follow up with yeah, getting started tutorial in few easy steps. Start. All right, so it says, first clone this. So git clone, we're gonna clone Docker getting started file. Awesome. Next step, so we just cloned their file. Now, we're going to go into the file, CD getting started, Docker, build, C, and all of that. Now we're pulling from the library. Awesome. Great. Great. Pulling and building. Oh, great. So in four steps, we're going to be running Docker. 